One of the Star Warriors, a Han Solo, bears a passing resemblance to movie star Harold Edsel. Whether his co-star Karen Fishhook also has a Star Warrior counterpart is unknown. It was partially owing to Hasbro's enormous product glut with their Star Wars, Episode 1 Toyland that the Transtech line was scrapped. The Star Wars Transformers toys from 2006 through 2008 all feature little pilot mini figures that sat in the toys' cockpits. Originally, this was done to make sure kids would not be confused and think that the giant robots were not piloted mecha but living robots like the Transformers. Starting with 2009's new crossovers product, however, the pilot minifigures were dropped from the toys, and the carryover, older toys were packed with the pilot figures already in the cockpits. Hasbro cited this as being both a cost-saving measure, thanks to rising manufacturing costs, and a move born of their discovery through playtesting that kids really weren't getting piloted mech and living robot confused. Also the likely reason such figures were not included for the Marvel Comics crossovers toys. In the final part of Revenge of the Fallen, R2-D2 was found flying. 